Baby. I'm looking for which chocolates to get my friends. I think I want this one. It's assorted chocolates. Or maybe I want this one. I think they're all kind of the same. I'll get the one. Black people, we always get the, <laughs> the one in the back. Uh oh, do you, don't, okay, don't start, Mary Jane. Okay, how cute are these chocolates? Milka Dubai? Should I get this one too? I never expected to say in 2023 that I'd be on my third trip back to Afghanistan. No matter what I do, I can't stay away from this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful country. It's even more intriguing that the world hates this place. The world considers this to be the most dangerous place on earth. But this is where I feel the safest. So I left Dubai on my way to Kabul, super excited and eager to get back to my favorite country. Flying Cam Air, which is known to be the world's most dangerous airline, simply because it's flown by Afghans and it's Afghanistan's only international airline. But I feel so safe. This would be my eighth flight with Cam Air and the experience has always, always been amazing. This was a beautiful A380, I believe, with two big engines and I just had the best flight. Q912 operating to Kabul. Our flight check to Kabul will be approximately 2 hours and 15 minutes. The most mind-blowing thing that happens every time I go to Afghanistan is the look on everybody's faces when I'm on the plane. Afghans are looking at me like, you're coming here by yourself? Wait, you're just coming by yourself? You're not with UNICEF? You're not with the UN? You're not with the Peace Corps? You're just coming? Yes, I'm just coming to Afghanistan. And I feel so safe and excited. You wanna have beef or chicken? Uh, chicken, please. Airlines. Airways, this is what they have for lunch, you guys. Okay, you guys, this smells delicious. So, we've got this is some kind of yogurt, I'm assuming. Yeah, yogurt. This is popular. They eat a lot of yogurt in Afghanistan, and it's they eat it with like almost every meal. It's not sweet at all. And then this looks like some kind of cornbread, but I'm pretty sure it's not cornbread. It's just some kind of cake. And then a cold salad, a piece of bread, and I got the chicken with rice. That's the curry. I don't know if it's curry, but...
بنده شرکت هوایی کامیر که در بیرون از دیارا منتظر شما هستند و تماس شدید شکر درانوال قدر مسافرین و دی کابل نرویوال هوایی دگر تا خراب مزد سای Mr. Ajmal is a good friend of mine. Yeah? <laughs> he's in the reception. He's a very nice man. Yeah. My friend, yeah. Okay. I will see him. I will check everything. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Our first stop was this cute little cafe where you can come and buy paintings if you want. They have some gorgeous, gorgeous paintings uh, made by local artists like Afghan art. They're beautiful and they're made by just local Afghan artists and they're placed all around as decoration but you can buy them if you'd like. I love that in Afghanistan, they do not pressure you to buy anything. If you want to buy something, it's up to you. They do not beg and push you at all, even though these people are very poor, a lot of them. But uh, yeah, you can come to the cafe and check out the art. If you'd like to buy something, that's completely up to you. No one's pushing you. Um, but you can sit down and they'll serve you some tea or coffee and it feels really good in here. It's cold, a little bit cold outside, but it's warm inside, which is a big deal because that's not always the case in Afghanistan. Um, but we had saffron tea, Afghan saffron tea. Um, it was delicious. You know, saffron comes from Afghanistan, so it's just water and saffron. And it's really good for you. So we enjoyed some saffron tea and we caught up. We just talked for hours. He was telling me about life in Afghanistan. He was telling me about how blessed he feels and how he's so upset the world hates and has a wrong idea about Afghanistan. And we just talked and talked and talked. 
I asked him if he felt safe around the Taliban, with the Taliban in control, and he said, this is the calmest Afghanistan has ever been, the most peaceful it has ever been. Before, there were bombings every single day. Someone was killed every single day. There was chaos. There was no paved roads. There was no street signs. And it was just chaotic. He even told me the hotel I stayed in was attacked all the time. Um, but now Afghanistan is beautiful and peaceful. I asked my local guide, Zabijan, to take me to a place where I could buy some postcards. I don't know why I was questioning if Afghanistan would have postcards, but they do. I was so, so, so excited. It was actually a shop where a guy paints and this guy is painting every single painting you see here and he owns the shop just ridiculously talented um it's all afghan art and he just goes crazy painting and he's got oh my gosh so many gems in there but he showed me he said yes of course i have postcards and i freaked out because i actually have a postcard family if you want to join you can join down below i'll link it in the description of this video if you want me to send you postcards you can sign up and i will send you 25 postcards from 25 different travel locations i go to i hand write them all and i send them to you guys and so when i saw these postcards i freaked out because i was hesitating at first i was like i don't think afghanistan is gonna have postcards no they do and they were gorgeous my heart this is the kind of stuff that I look for when I'm traveling. This is the kind of stuff that excites me. Beautiful postcards to send to you guys. And I also collect postcards myself for my journaling. But they were just beautiful. If you sign up today, the publishing day of this video, then you will get a postcard from Afghanistan because I bought about a thousand. <laughs> So uh, you can sign up down below and I will send you postcards. Um, but his art was just absolutely beautiful, insanely beautiful. This man is so talented. And if you guys come to Afghanistan, which you should, you need to check out this shop. If you go with the same guide and company I go to Afghanistan with, he'll take you here. I highly suggest you come to Afghanistan, I'll put the information down below. If you guys want to go, you can go with my exact company and my exact guide. And he'll take you here because this kind of stuff is just, it's a part of history. It's, it's just gorgeous. They brought lots of funds to Afghanistan. Yeah. They left it. Yeah. Exactly, they did lots of investments. Yeah. This is yours, yeah? This is yours, huh? You grab some? Yeah. No, 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 it's yours. You grab some. Okay, let me put a lot of Does your um, your family they like sweets? Yeah, I have some chocolate. Really? Yeah, for you and your kids. Oh, that is 
you look kind. It's in the hotel. Yeah, maybe later on. I'm back. I've got my Joyce Meyer on. I'm about to start editing. And I've just laid out some of the postcards that I got today and I am dying. For me, when I travel, this is what I look forward to. The postcards that I'm going to get you guys um, is what I get so excited about. I also journal. So where's my journal? Where'd she go? She disappeared. My journal's somewhere around here. Anyways, now it's, now it's confusing me. Oh, here she is. My journal is here, and I, I like to put... This is my journal. I also like to put postcards in my journal as, like, art from around the world. Um, but anyways, I just found the most beautiful postcards. Um... I'm in love with these. Look at these gorgeous, like they're like works of art. I'm so excited to send these to you guys. These are special, you guys. These are so special. And I got this one because tell me this doesn't look like Jesus. It actually gives me the chills. Like, it looks like Jesus. It also looks like my man a little bit. <laughs> but... It looks like Jesus. Like, I literally think Jesus looked like this when he was here. So it's, like, kind of giving me the chills. But this is an Afghan man. I know Jesus was not Afghan. I know that. I already know that. I'm going to get the comments. Jesus was an Afghan. All these people have different ideas about what he looked like. But I think he looked something like this. And I know a lot of people are going to have different opinions. This is mine. Oh my gosh, I just could stare at this picture forever. The Afghans are just some of the most beautiful people and they're very diverse. <laughs> Anyways, um, I got some gorgeous postcards. Um, I love this one with Afghan Airlines. This is back in a day though. Let me see if it says the year. Uh, 2001. 2001 this postcard is from 2001 you guys these are special these postcards and you guys are getting them you can sign up down below if you want to join my postcard family look at this one afghan kids at school oh i'm obsessed look at this little afghan boy another little afghan family Oh, I am just in euphoria. If you guys want to join and you want to receive postcards from me, you can sign up down below. Actually, if you sign up now, you'll get a postcard from Afghanistan. So, But you can sign up and I send you 25 postcards from all over the world as I travel. And I put inspirational messages in the back of them. 